In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can overcome that immediate rage that sometimes arises when you have kids so that you don't spaz out, so you don't do something regrettable, and instead that you can overcome your rage as quickly as possible and get back to being a happy, peaceful parent. So if you care about keeping the peace in the family, check it out. Welcome back to Whole Goals, everybody. My name is Andrew Love, and it's my job to help you reclaim your mind, heart, body, and soul so that you can create harmony in your life, harmony in your family, and make massive contributions to this world. And you cannot be a productive member of society if you freak out all the time, if you are what I call a spaz dad. Nobody wants to be a spaz dad, but it happens sometimes. There's a lot of pressure on us as dads and as husbands to do a lot of stuff, to fix this, to do that, to make money, to blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of pressure. And if you don't know how to deal with it well, it can start to mount and mount and mount and mount and mount. If you don't have productive outlets, it can start to seem like too much and it's this heavy weight on your back until you eventually just freak out. And so I really want to talk about something because it just happened to me recently where I was hanging out with my kids, we were having a great day, and my son wanted to see there's like an old collector's car on the road. We live in Denver and there's a lot of really nice classic cars. He's really into cars. He wanted to see inside the car. So I went to go lift him up and simultaneously he went to jump up and he smacked me like this so hard and I just was filled with like, you know when you start to see red and you just start like Aah! And some lady was watching this whole exchange and I just immediately turned around and started breathing. I needed to diffuse myself from the situation. So that's tip number one, is diffuse yourself from the situation. If you want to not hurt somebody when you're in a fit of rage, if you're like really like overwhelmed with fight or flight and you want to fight, then you flight. You choose to flight. You defuse by walking away. So I turned away and I started to breathe. The lady was yapping away. She, I don't know who she was. She was like, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not having a conversation. I'm freaking out here. So I turned around, took some breaths. And then my son was super apologetic. I was just like, okay, give me a second. Just breathing it out. So I'm diffusing, I'm getting away from the situation, now I'm breathing, I'm calming my nervous system down with breath. That's number two. Breath, calming myself down. Now when I'm calm and I'm not freaking out anymore, then the next thing to do when you have little kids is to explain what just happened. I'd be like, listen, this is not your fault. I went down to pick you up at the exact same time that you jumped up and you hit me it was not your fault, it was not my fault, but I got super angry and I just needed some space. When you explain compassionately like that, then all of a sudden they don't feel like they've done something wrong because in many cases they didn't. They're ignorant or they're little kids. Sometimes kids, if they're like three or four, cannot control their body so much. They do a lot of spastic stuff and if they smack you in the process, you can let them know to work on that. But just by getting angry with them, it doesn't resolve anything. They're still little kids who are kind of learning how to control this meat suit. So to be able to like calmly explain what happened, why you did what you did, is essential to them not being traumatized, thinking that they did something evil. It was a simple mistake. And then the fourth step is to hug them and reconcile them and just say, listen, I still have limitations. I still get angry sometimes. It was totally not your fault. But let's work on that. Before you jump up, can you just look around? And how about, instead of me just bending down to pick you up, I'll let you know next time. So you see how that makes a difference. When you're in a fit of rage, and it could be because they did something emotional to you, or they broke a vase, or a vase, or whatever you want to say, the first thing is to diffuse yourself, get away from it. Because the more that you're just like immersed in that, you start to lose control. So you diffuse yourself, you take some space. Then you collect yourself with some nice breath work, calming breath work. Then you speak casually to the child in a nice way without freaking out. In a street, you can be strong and serious, but without losing control. And then you hug them and everything gets resolved. And that becomes a life lesson. Everybody grows from it. You learn from it and you laugh about it. And within five to 10 minutes, you could already be putting that in the past. 
Otherwise, you could slowly turn that into something that you judge them, they judge you, it starts a fight. You see how that happens. So this is just a quick video to help you understand how to not make a big deal out of small mistakes. I hope this video is useful. If it was, don't be shy with the subscribing or the likes. Those all help this channel and help other people access this information so that we can all be better at parenting and husbanding and all that. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Peace.